This is Dr. Alan Watson. I'm an ophthalmologist practicing in Missouri, and we're discussing the growth processes and some of the things associated with growth. Generally, what causes people to grow is they have an epiphyseal growth plate at the end of their bones on both the distal, the end, and the proximal end of the bone. As these individuals mature, that ep epiphyseal growth plate continues to expand and the osteoclasts that are making the bone lay down calcium and that becomes part of the bone matrix and also cartilage and the cartilage becomes the framework for the bone to ossify and what happens in individuals as they mature and usually the, the factors that control these epiphyseal both plate maturation is hormonal and after the sex hormones are in place in these individuals for three to five years the epiphyseal growth plate will start to ossify itself and the cartilage will resorb and that epiphyseal growth plate fuses all just calcified bone and the bone will no longer elongate and grow and that usually will limit the overall size and height and stature of that person when the epiphyseal growth plate seals itself. When do breasts stop growing? Yeah. Breasts generally stop growing once the genetically determined size is reached. Hormonal factors but also heredity will determine the ultimate size of the breast along with their diet because a good part of the breast development is fat tissue and so they need a certain amount of calories in their diet so they can store that fat and how much fat that they store in that particular site is frequently genetically determined. Some breasts can continue to grow slowly if the individuals eat excessive calories they can expand commensurate with other parts of their body expanding as that fat tissue is stored um, but generally in most women it's by 18 19 years of age the breast has reached its full adult size and this has been dr alan watson discussing the growth processes that affect both men and women thank you